UNI Track and Field has a history of winning championships. Much of that history has happened right inside the Unidome. Here's a preview of this weekend's indoor MVC championships. For yet another indoor track and field season, the Unidome will host the Missouri Valley Conference Championships and will house some of the fastest and strongest competitors in both track and field events. For the UNI Panthers, it's a fantastic event made even better by competing at home. Yeah, the conference meet is definitely the most fun meet of the year. It's the most team environment uh, competition that we have on any given year. And so to be able to, to come and support your teammates and have the rest of the team here that normally maybe wouldn't travel on a way meet type of a situation really gives us an advantage. We have a great facility in the Dome, and so just to be able to host every single year and give our kids an opportunity to compete on the home track and defend our home turf is, is really fun. The UNI men will be competing for a top three finish, highlighted by front runner Brandon Carnes in the sprints and using depth in many events to steal points away from other teams and push the Panthers towards the top of the charts. It's, it's going to be a really exciting track meet. Uh, on paper, Wichita State is probably the strongest team, uh, but that's on paper. You know, that's why we compete the track meet uh, on the day. Any, anything can happen. And right now, uh, from second to sixth place, there's probably about 10 points separating each team. And so depending on what event happens and where it falls, you know, a, a swing event here, a swing event there, you can make up 20 points uh, pretty easily. The MVC Indoor Championships run Saturday and Sunday in the Unidome with action starting Saturday morning with field events followed by prelims and finals Saturday afternoon and commencing with more field events Sunday morning and all remaining finals Sunday between 1 and 5. Yeah, the key to, to doing well as a team is to have, have depth. And so if you can put three girls or three guys in, in the top eight in the conference in any event, that's, that's huge. And so in the women's 800, we have the returning champion is back in Brett Corey. And Amber Clock finished second last year. And right now, Amber is actually ranked first in the conference and Brett sitting second. And so we have a good one-two punch there uh, with whoever you know, has an opportunity to win. they got to get it done on the day. Uh, but for us to have two girls in, in high scoring position there is definitely going to help us out uh, in the team race. Um, Rachel Pafe, she won the heptathlon outdoors last year. Uh, she's back this year for her senior year. She's looking really good. And then uh, Paige Canodal, uh, All-American in the heptathlon two years ago, uh, is coming back off of back surgery last year, has had a terrific indoor season, uh, is ranked first in the conference in the hurdles, and is going to be one of the top multi-event uh, athletes competing 